Dear conference, sisters, friends, benefactors, and lay mission partners. This year, we are celebrating the Foundation Day of our society in a unique and unusual way. The crisis caused by COVID-19 pandemic does not stop us from celebrating this special day because we have all reasons to thank God who has been accompanying our society also during this crisis. Our society was born out of a crisis that confronted the church in Germany, prompted by a pervading political situation in that country. This situation of crisis also offered an opportunity for creativity for bringing something new. St. Arnold responded to those who were questioning his initiative to start a missionary congregation, saying, We live in a time when much is collapsing. Therefore, new things must be established in their places. In the course of history, we experienced different crises like wars and health catastrophes. The administration of Father Nicholas Bloom, the second superior general of our congregation, was marked by two big crises, the First World War and the Spanish Flu. Towards the end of the war, Father Bloom exhorted the converts with three main concerns. Caring for those coming back from the war, using judiciously our limited resources for our life and mission, and fostering the spirit of unity. I think these are also our concerns today to varying degrees. The first is how to care for those who are infected with the COVID-19 virus. We remember and pray for our four converts who have lost their lives due to this virus. A total of 45 converts have been infected. Fortunately, most of them have recovered. A few are still in the quarantine, either in hospitals or at home. We include them in our special prayers today. It is essential to continue to be responsible for ourselves and others, especially for our elderly, elderly converts. Responsible care will free us from being imprisoned in fear and from being too negligent. Our care is also extended to the poor and the needy. I thank you for your courage in collaboration with others to reach out to those at the margins. Despite the danger and the risks involved in such engagements, you have not abandoned your people. The second concern is how to use prudently our resources to sustain our life and mission. It is primarily about our responsible way of dealing with our temporal goods. We know that financial solidarity is one of our strengths. This solidarity starts with every single one of us giving what we receive and using well what we have. Our solidarity begins when we listen to the question of Jesus to his disciples in Mark 6:38. How many loaves do you have? It is a challenge to honestly respond to this question and disclose what we have with greater transparency. Our concern for our resources leads us also to think about what nature provides us. We need to be consistent in our care for the nature as our common home. The third concern is how to sustain the spirit of unity. First of all, it is about being united with the Lord. Like St. Arnold, we put our trust in the Lord in facing all the challenges in our life and mission. 
this crisis also makes us realize how important it is to remain united with our family members, with converts, sisters of the Arnoldian family, mission partners, friends, and benefactors, including those under our care and those who care for us. The spirit of unity widens our hearts and minds to be united with the whole human family to fight against any kind of discrimination. Our living and working together in intercultural communities is a real witness in this situation infected with increasing racism. Keeping the spirit of communion means better collaborating with others, with the sisters, and with our mission partners. Collaboration is only possible if there is humility to acknowledge our limitation, honesty to respect others, and courage to learn from and be enriched by them. Dear Confers, Sisters, Friends, Benefactors, and Lay Mission Partners, Our congregation is dedicated to the Word of God. It is the Word of hope that opens new perspectives in moments of desperation, gives encouragement in times of disaster, and speaks the truth against the propagation of fake news. Our name is our mission. Let us renew our commitment to proclaim the Word of God in words and deeds. The Divine Word remains the inspiration for our discernment on how to respond to the crisis. Through the intercessions of Saints Arnold and Joseph, Blessed Maria Elena and Josepha, and our Blessed Martyrs, may this celebration help us to creatively exercise our call to mission in solidarity and compassion for the glory of the Divine World. And may our Blessed Mother Mary, who is our matchless model in this regard, and whose nativity shelters our foundation, continue to inspire us. Happy Foundation Day of our congregation. Thank you.